Welcome to this session of my video series. For loop is the third type of loop in C. It is used to construct loops that should run a specified number of times. This code shows the syntax of a for loop. This loop is written with a for keyword. This is the body of the loop. The statements inside this body will repeat. This is the initialization expression. The loop variables can be given initial values here. The initialization is usually done to zero. But it can be any other value also according to the code logic. This is the condition expression. The loop continues till this expression evaluates to true. This is the increment or decrement expression. It is used to ensure that the loop terminates after some time. This loop is the most compact of all. It contains all the three parts close together, and on the same line. This is an equivalent while loop. Here the three expressions are spread far away from each other. The initialization expression is here. The condition expression is here. And here is the increment expression. The three expressions are better arranged in a for loop. The counter variable can be declared outside the for loop. The loop variable can be declared outside the for loop. The loop variable can be declared here. The initialization can be done as usual. But there is no need to declare it here, because it has already been declared above. But when would you do initialization like this? Any variables declared in the for loop are available only inside its body. They are not available outside. So if you want to access a variable outside, it won't be available. This is as per the latest C++ standard. In this code the counter variable has been declared inside the for loop. So it is not available outside. The counter variable is not available at this point. But the variable is available at this point.
This is the reason why the loop variable could be declared outside. It is possible to use multiple comma separated statements in loop expressions. This code uses two variables for initialization expression. And the condition expression is a combination of both i and j. Two comma separated increment expressions are also used here. Here we are initializing two variables. A comma must be used to separate the initialization expression. This is the condition formed by combining both the variables. Both the variables are being incremented here. They have been separated by a comma. There are various variations of for loops. Let me show them here. This is a decrementing for loop. The loop variable is initialized at a higher value. The condition expression is also reversed. The loop continues till the variable is more than zero. Here the loop variable decreases by one each time. The loop variable can increment by any amount. It is not necessary that it may decrement or increment just by one. In this code it is jumping by two. The loop variable is incrementing by two. This loop can be killed in three ways. By killing I mean terminating the loop before its scheduled loops. The break statement can terminate the loop anytime. This break statement will terminate this loop when I equals 6. The control jumps to this place outside the loop. A return statement can also terminate the for loop. Actually, the return statement is the ultimate exit statement. It causes the function itself to exit. This return causes the function to exit. Consequently, the loop 2 exits. A loop can be killed with a go to statement as well. C allows you to give labels to certain parts of your code. A label is any valid identifier. A label uses a colon, just as you have seen case labels in a switch. This keyword makes a jump to the label named here. If the condition expression is not given, the condition is treated as true. If condition expression is omitted, 
then the condition expression is taken as true. In that case a developer must use either of the three ways to ensure an exit from the loop. The body must use break, return or go to statement to terminate the loop. Otherwise, the loop would hang and it would be bad programming. This is a new variation of the for loop. It is used for reading the elements of an array. I shall discuss it at that time. Thank you.